how to pay a vendor bill using bank loan or say line of credit type account in QuickBooks, QuickBooks desktop. So this is a QuickBooks desktop homepage right here and a new one has a, a different screen here they have bolts here one with the uh, money bar and graphs and everything. So this homepage so first thing you want to do is you want to buy and create a vendor bill. So let's say we're going to use the intro bill here. Let's say in this case, this company is set up as a construction company. So we'll buy some materials, intro bills. Let's say you bought $10,000 worth of material cost from, let's say Simon Construction. I'll just a quick add in here. And the count we will select is, uh, let's say, uh, material cost of goods sold, construction material cost right here. Let's say we'll just use select this one. Okay, we'll just put the reference number. In this case, this is the invoice number. You get it from your vendor, in this case, Simon Construction. Let's say this invoice number is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's your invoice number from your vendor bill. All right, let's save and new. Okay, so if we go back, as you can see here, we have created accounts payable for Simon Construction. So if you go to Vendor Center, you'll see you owe $10,000 to Simon Construction now. That's how you booked it. Simon Construction, 10,000, you owe them. Okay, so now next thing is you're going to pay this bill not by checking account or, uh, or any other uh, banking transaction, but we're going to use line of credit to pay for this. So let's say you want to pay this by you have line of credit with uh, Chase Bank. All right, let's create a line of credit account, group list, start of accounts, new account right here, new, and select this. This is a loan type, other account types, and it's a other current liability. Here's the one, this is the one, as you can see here. So other current liability, so that's the one you want to use. You can also use credit card if you want to do reconciliation and you're going to have all kinds of uh, uh, line of credit. If you're using it, then you can also use credit card type. That way you can, uh, you can use, uh, you, you can do the bank reconciliation and also use the uh, register stuff. So in this case, we just use other current account types and select other current liability, continue. Let's go. Then you say Chase line of credit. Save and close. Let's close this one. Now we'll go back to the bill screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use credit. This is still the same one. Let's close this. So enter bill and select credit, not bill, credit. So now we're going to pay Simon Construction $10,000 material. You don't want to use this one again because you already entered it as a cost. So this time we're going to pay this by, by line of credit. The one that we just opened here is Chase Line of Credit right here. This is the Chase Line of Credit account under current liability. We just open it. So use that one. And the amount is $10,000. And the reference number, you can use the invoice number. Something like this. 
So this is what we what we're doing here. We're gonna use the we're gonna pay by using Chase line of credit and using the credit right here. Now save and close. Okay. And next thing you want to do is pay bills. This is internal stuff to clear your uh, accounts payable stuff in here. Pay bills. As you can see here is a ten thousand dollars sitting in here, and we're not going to write a check or anything. We're just going to clear this. And here's a, here's a credit sitting in here because we already paid it by uh, uh, line of credit. So line of credit. Select that one. And now it's back to amount to pay is zero. This is just the internal stuff, clear this invoice. Okay. And we have account in here, and you know, it will just so ending the transaction at zero amount if we don't want to so zero about zero, zero amount in this checks account, then you just have to open some other account, let's say uh, some clearing account. All we will have is the all the zero amounts whenever you do this type of transaction. Let's just say bank clearing account. Okay, we're just going to use this. See, now we have two here. Just select this one and paste, paste selected bills, this one. Now it's done. So if you go to PNL, if you go to balance sheet, you should see two things. One, in PNL, you should see ten thousand dollars expense as your, uh, your material cost, and on the balance sheet, you should see ten thousand dollars as your liability line of credit. Let's see, if it works or not. So here's your $10,000 expense. That's the material you purchase. And let's look at the balance sheet. You should see $10,000 as your loan account. Right here, $10,000 line of credit. So as you can see here, on the balance sheet, $10,000. Chase line of credit and construction material you bought as, as, as expense right here in PL $10,000. So it works. So that's how you have to do it. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.